Hello, my name is Jason. I am a remote student at Coplatoon and just completed week two of 15. In last week's video, I stated I just completed week one of 14. However, this is a 15 week course. The topics that we covered during week two was object oriented programming or OOP. Um, week one was a challenge for me. However, moving on to week two and to OOP was uh, another challenge, a new challenge. Um, it was very frustrating for me at points during the week. However, I was able to get through it. And I believe with the repetition that we do at Code Platoon with the weekly assignments, daily assignments, that is, um, it really allows me to form a better grasp on the subject. So day one, we had a few assignments. And... Um, one I think helped me out the most uh, was a, CV, a CSV reader. Um, this kind of was the stepping stone to, to help me into the, the assignments for um, the upcoming days in week two. Um, it, it was a baseline for me at, at least that um, to help me grasp it. Um, I felt very comfortable going into day two uh, where we worked on a, an assignment that um, was a contact list. And that contact list, you know, had a list of individuals in a CSV or CSV file, um, which again, built on day one, where we had to do one of those assignments as a CSV re uh, reader. Um, and then um, day three, I think um, was, the, the the moment where I started to kind of get a little nervous and was kind of questioning myself as to, you know, do I really grasp the concepts of object-oriented programming? Um, we had to, the premise of the one of the assignments was uh, a school interface where we had to um, uh, view students, add students, and um, view an individual student. So by just typing in their student ID, um, that was the premise of the, the assignment. And, you know, at first I felt very confident that I would be able to do this, but as we went into day four, um, which was the school interface two assignment, um, we were building on um, from the interface one, adding more features, I got really frustrated at, at certain points of this, this assignment, um, almost to the point where I was like, let me just, let me just start over. I need to start over fresh. Um, let me go back to school interface one, redo that, and then go into school interface two. And um, I didn't quite start over. But in a sense, I really, really should have because I got so frustrated that it just um, it, it stopped my mind from working. Essentially, that's the best way I could really ex describe it. Um, but it helped me. It helped me um, go back and start again and really examine what it is that I have to do to to finish this assignment. Um, at the end of the day, I was able to finish it. Uh, but not without struggle. Um, I had to ask a few TAs to help me, and I I really feel bad for those TAs because they could probably sense that I was very frustrated. And I think that is really a big part of you know software programming. Being a software developer, you know we're going to run into issues. We're going to need to ask for help, and. If we're not good at asking for help, um, then that's definitely something that we all should work on um, is, is getting some new set of eyes on what you're working on so that maybe they can look at it and say, hmm, maybe this might work better if you try this instead. And, you know, it, it took one of the TAs to kind of tell me that and for, for me to actually see that, hey, yeah, I maybe got a little too ahead of myself in this assignment. 
made me backtrack and and start over. So that's that's exactly what I did is I started over and I did complete the assignment, uh, not without any frustration, um, but it, it is what it is. And I feel like I have a much better grasp because I seen it through. I made sure that I didn't give up on myself. I didn't just move on and say, um, you know, better luck next time. I didn't want a better luck next time. I wanted to complete this assignment and really grasp it, not just move on and say, I, I'll, I'll learn this more with experience, which I do need, you know, to get more experience in it. I'm by no means an expert and will take some time to fully develop and understand. Um, but for the time being, I think I'm exactly where I need to be at for OOP. And thanks to the school interface assignments that I had, um, it was able to bring me to that point. So needless to say, week two was a, a bit rough for me. And I would say that the sentiment for the class, I, I, I believe that most of us felt a little overwhelmed. And, uh, but that's, that's good. I think that, you know, I always say myself that if I'm not put in a position where I'm uncomfortable, then I'm not learning. And uh, that's, I think, the best analogy that I have for this week. I was put in a position where I did not feel comfortable and I learned a lot. And um, I want to say thank you to the TAs who spent time and was able to work through my individual frustration with what I was going through. And they were really there for me along with the instructors. So thank you to them. Um, the other topics we covered we, in day five, um, we covered um, review of object-oriented programming and, you know, kind of went back into the school interface where the instructor went through and, and uh, showed us how they would have tackled this assignment um, if, if they were charged with it. And when they did that, it really brought new meaning to my understanding of OOP and uh, kind of dialed it in a little bit more. So I, I'm very grateful that I was able to be a part of that session where, you know, the instructor went live and, and coded with us and showed us how they would have done or how they would have approached this problem. So great understanding. Um, although it was a very challenging week for me, and, and most of the other students in the class. So yeah, thanks to them for that. Um, we went over um, a few other things and I think that it's, it's really important, important to state that um, imposter syndrome, you know, a lot of us learn so much so quickly that we may feel like we shouldn't be here, like we, we uh at least that's how i feel like imposter syndrome to me is everyone i'm surrounded with is much better than i am at something and i don't belong here because i'm not as good as them and it's a real thing um but i'm here to say that that i'm here now and i'm still here and i'm going to be here until the end even though I may feel at times that I shouldn't, I shouldn't be here, I don't deserve to be here, or um, there's others that are more qualified to be in this class than I am, but I'm here. So that being said, I think that I have worked hard enough to be where I'm at right now, um, but I have a lot of work to do going forward. The last thing that we talked about this week was our first assessment. So um, I'm not going to go into detail about the assessment or what it was, but I will say that we did cover the ground rules for this assessment. And um, on the surface, it didn't seem to me to be that big of a, a beast for lack of a better word. However, it kind of was. Um, I did get through it and I feel like I did what I needed to do. Um, I may have done a little bit more um, coding 
I, I don't believe it, it was as clean as it could have been. However, every time I ran the program, it ran exactly as I desired it to and met the specifications for the assignment. Um, I think from start to finish, the assessment took me because, you know, we, we go over the assessment ground rules and um, make sure that everybody has a, a good understanding of what is asked for them on this assessment on Friday. And then we're given the weekend to complete it. So once we were released to, to work on this assessment, um, I think from start to finish and with a about an eight hour um, you know, sleep about eight hours of sleep in between, I think altogether was about 20 hours so that I worked on this assessment and was able to complete it. But yeah, it was a bit bigger than I anticipated for this assessment. Um, so I guess the, the rule is, is don't underestimate something by looking at it on the surface because it could definitely be uh, a sleeping giant and to me, I think it was kind of a sleeping giant. From what I'm used to dealing with up until this point, I'm sure that this will look like a little, little, little child complete or compared to some of the assessments that are coming forward, which I fully embrace and cannot wait to, to uh, get started on. Um, I can't wait to get started on week three. I'm super excited. I'm glad I made it this far already. Um, I had few at a few times felt like maybe maybe I'm in the wrong place, but after you know completed that completing that assessment, I really feel like I am in the right place myself personally, and uh, I'm excited. So um, again, next week I will post another video, and thank you all for watching.